Hello everyone. Well, I made it to the camping spot that I, I found in the last short video. It's a bayou around my house. It's private property and the landowner wishes, you know, for it to remain private. So I can't really say where it's at, uh, just, just near my house. It's a beautiful piece of land. Uh, I'll show it to you in a minute. There's a sugar cane field behind me, a bayou in front of me, and uh, it's just ideal. I'm hoping uh, to catch a catfish in order to cook it tonight. And depending on how long it takes to catch it, or if I catch it, uh, it may just be catch and release. It may not be catch at all, and I may be cooking the fish that I brought in the ice chest. But anyway, I'm here and uh Well, it's about that time, and the bear of the day is Bud Light. For a hundred degrees, that that is nice. All right, well, let me quit rocking and start showing you around a little bit. That's the bayou. We'll end up with that. This is the turn row I came down to get here. As you can see, it's very well kept. You could drive any vehicle you want down it. Uh, it's grassy, even if it'd be wet, you wouldn't get stuck. Anyway, they maintain that so that they can harvest and uh, you know their equipment can get in and out easily. The sugar cane is beautiful. It's grown and it's shielding me from the highway and probably a lot of the noise associated with the highway. That's uh, going down the other way, down the turn row. And it's quite a distance from end to end. I'm about halfway down it, fairly well isolated. But I love this sugar cane, it's, it's beautiful. All right, and I backed my car up into this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, little clearing in, in the uh, woods. Anyway, to get to the bayou, I didn't have to do any clearing at all. I just found this little opening that was already here, pretty much. And uh, 
This is the bayou. It's not the most beautiful in the world, but to me it is. It drains a lot of the city of Alexandria, Woodworth. It's connected to the lake I was camping out last weekend, Indian Creek. And it's, uh, it's part of a system that could be used as irrigation if the farmers here needed irrigation. And here's the, the line, which still uh, isn't stretched out, meaning there's no fish. Anyway, uh, we got time and we got fish in the icebox. I'm sorry folks, it's gonna take a couple of more times getting this thing pitched before I'll put it on camera. Man, this is a beautiful time. I came down and rebaited the lines one more time. This, this is just not the time of the year for catfishing. There's the beautiful sun about to go down. You could hear the cicadas. I thought I'd show y'all all the ingredients that's going to go in tonight's supper. Uh, I'll be using canola oil. I prefer I prefer peanut oil to fry the fish, but that's all I could get. And for the salad, we're gonna have bacon bits, Thousand Island dressing, some of these hot pickle chips, and there's gonna be some uh, red onion in, in the salad. And some cheese, let's not forget the, the, the cheddar gonna be in the salad. I'm gonna make some hush puppies, but I've got a, a surprise for the hush puppies. I'll, I'll show you that when I start making them. And I'm gonna use a, a prepared uh, mix for the, for the fish. And I believe I told you, we're not gonna have fish that I caught. I didn't catch any fish. So we're gonna have to use the fish that I brought. And, uh, we're going to be cooking everything on this propane stove, so stay tuned. Well, the french fries are done, they're golden brown. Okay, we're using this Martha White Cotton Country Cornbread, because as you can see, it says just add water, but we're going to add a little bit more than water. I'm gonna show you the secret to making the best hush puppies you ever wanna eat. Cream style corn. Not a whole lot. What about, about half the can will work in this case. It's best to start out slow and mix slowly. You could always add more water, but you can't take away. All right, we got the uh, mix just about right. You want it to be fairly stiff, the dough, and you want to use a, a wet spoon. And you really, about a tablespoon. And that's what you're looking for, about that size dollop. I'm gonna drop it in the hot grease. And then, Clean your spoon. You want to as clean a spoon as possible. It's gonna be hard with one hand, but we're gonna do it. Drop that in, and really, I'm gonna cut the fire off. I've got too, too much. There you have it, everyone. Fried catfish, French fries, hush puppies, and a green salad. 
Well, I finished supper. Boy, that was good. Oh my God. I don't have fried catfish that often. And uh, certainly not french fries or hush puppies. It was good. The green salad was amazing with the Thousand Island dressing. That was, that was a very enjoyable supper. All right, we're gonna go down to uh, where the catfish line is. And we're gonna make sure that there's no fish on the line. And we're going to take it in and stow it away for the night. You gotta watch out for these, these little spidos. They want to be on you at night. You can see the little spidos now. They got their little shining eyes glistening at you. Well, as I thought, there's, there's nothing. Didn't catch nothing. I'll pull the line in. Across the bayou. Got that put away for the night. Thought there'd be more noise, a lot more frogs, especially bullfrogs. All right, got the line put away. I'm gonna clean up and get some things put up, and then. Probably hit the hay. Well, good morning, everybody. Sun's coming up over the sugar cane. It's a pretty morning. A little cloudy. Well, my second trip is basically on the books. Um, what are some takeaways from it? Well, I'm finding with each trip, I'm enjoying it more because I'm a little bit more prepared. Uh, video skills are inversely proportional to how many Bud Lights you've had. Um, and I'm not going to worry about fishing in the dog days of summer <laughs> again. I was surprised at how quiet the night was when I think back on the nights I used to camp in the swamp <clears throat> many years ago. It was almost deafening, the crickets and frogs and everything making noise at night. But anyway, they, those are the, the takeaways on this trip. I love this spot. The sun's peeking through the clouds. There's some rays of light. Beautiful sunrise. Now that's beautiful. I do want it on record that the site is actually cleaner than I found it. There were several pieces of trash They're coming out with me. Nothing that would cause any concern to the landowner 
will be left behind.